How Expert! Top 10 Fun Facts About Wolf Dogs. How Expert publishes quick how to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Fun Facts About Wolf Dogs. Number 10. There are a couple different dog breeds that originated as wolf dog crosses. Aside from the generic wolf dogs, which are not regulated or recognized by any registries, there are a couple of dog breeds which actually originated as wolf crosses with dogs. One of these dog breeds is the Czechoslovakian Vlach, which was created in the 1950s to work border control in Slovakia and the Czech Republic. This breed doesn't normally hold any wolf content anymore and are recognized by the Foundation Stock Service of the IKC, American Kennel Club, the UKC, United Kennel Club, and the FCI, and are used in police work, search and rescue, therapy work, and are said to make great agility and dock diving dogs. Another of these breeds is the Sarloose Wolfhound, which can be traced back to a Dutch breeder in the 1920s and they were created as an effort to improve shepherd breeding stock and prevent canine distemper. Though the breed didn't accomplish what it set out for, they are recognized today by the FCI and the Dutch Kennel Club. Number 9. Wolf dogs are not legal in every state in the U.S. Wolf dogs, while actually being considered a domestic dog, are listed under the same category as such dogs as pit bulls, German shepherds, rottweilers, etc. They are a wildly misunderstood and misrepresented dog breed, and therefore there are a lot of common misconceptions about them. One of these misconceptions is that they're a dangerous animal, when they are more likely to run and hide from danger because they're very timid animals. So because of this misinformation, there are some states, counties, and even cities that have specific legislation covering wolf dog ownership. Some states, like Missouri, allow wolf dogs statewide, but require permits to own a wolf dog. Other states like Michigan, Georgia, and New York, it is completely illegal to own any wolf dog. Then there are states like Tennessee, where wolf dogs are accepted statewide. However, there are certain counties, like Knox County, where they are illegal. Some vets will also not treat wolf dogs, so be sure to check into your local state, county, and city laws concerning wolf dogs. Usually the best way is to call your local fish and game office and also find a vet willing to treat wolf dogs before finding a breeder or rescue. Number eight, wolf dogs can be escape artists. Wolf dogs are very smart animals that require a lot of mental stimulation. Even with the proper mental stimulation, they are known to get bored easily and sometimes they just like to challenge themselves to get out of their containment. There are various ways of building proper outside containment for them, but a good rule of thumb is to have six to eight feet tall fencing with lean-ins and dig guards. Both horse and field fencing and cattle panels work well. And some people will even double layer their fence with both of them because the cattle panel is extremely sturdy so it can't bend. However, it is easy to climb or stick their heads through and a horse or field fencing isn't easy to climb, but is much less sturdy and they are able to bend it. Then, dig guards can help them from digging out under the fence, and lean-ins will keep them from climbing over the fence. Another great precaution to keep them inside is to layer the inside of the fence with strands of electric wire. Usually it only takes one shock and they'll quit trying to escape. Number seven, there are different levels of wolf content in each wolf dog. Because wolf dogs originated from wolf to dog breedings, there are various different content levels for them. The hardest part about getting into wolf dogs is the number of people who, knowingly or not, will breed wolfy looking dogs together, such as German Shepherds, Alaskan Malamutes, and Siberian Huskies, and then call their offspring wolf dogs. That is called misrepresentation. And while some people do it deliberately, just to slap a wolf dog label on their dogs to get more money for puppies, or just to say they have a wolf dog, there are a lot of people who just aren't fully informed on what to look for, etc. 
And up until a few years ago, there was no really accurate way to keep track of whether these animals had wolf content in them or not. Then, Embark came out with the most accurate DNA test there is for determining wolf content in dogs. This is the only way to know for sure if your dog has wolf content and how much they have. The content is usually broken down into no content, low content, mid content, and high content. And while some people will get more detailed than others, there are four main content levels. No content would be for dogs with zero wolf to around 10% of wolf. These would be pure dogs or dogs with recent wolf heritage and have so little wolf content in them that their phenotype as pure dogs will act as pure dog. Low content is usually considered to be roughly 10 to 50% wolf. These dogs could phenotype to look more and act like dog than wolf, and some can even pass as pure dogs. Mid content range is around 50 to 80 and will phenotype to look and act roughly evenly wolf versus doggy. High content would be 80 plus, and these dogs will phenotype to look and act almost pure wolf. Number six. Some wolf dog lines are bred for specific purposes, others just for companions. There are more and more wolf dog breeders who are actually trying to better the breed nowadays and are breeding for specific purposes instead of just trying to produce wolfy looking animals that can't do anything except sit in your yard. These animals are capable of so much if worked with properly, though if you're just looking for a companion, they're great for that as well. However, there are breeders out there breeding towards specific purposes now, including mushing sports, cane across, bike joring, sledding, etc., agility, dock diving, scent work, and other dog sports. While the AKC doesn't allow wolf dogs to be registered through their mixed breed registry to participate in these sports, some of them still allow wolf dogs to compete, such as dock diving. And the mushing sports they don't have to be registered to compete in, and they make excellent running, hiking, biking companions when raised properly with socialization and training. Number five, wolf dogs usually prefer to be outside. While we would all love to cuddle our dogs on the couch, wolf dogs tend not to be super cuddly dogs and they just prefer to be outside. Some of them will do well inside, especially the low contents and even some of the mid contents, but they will still need a lot of outside activity to keep them occupied and active. There have even been known to be a few high contents who do well inside, if exercised properly and given the proper mental stimulation. But they can be destructive, so even if they do well inside, they aren't normally safe to leave unattended inside the house and will need to be crate trained for their safety or put in a secure outdoor containment when they can't be supervised. Number four, wolf dog puppies get pulled from mom and bottle fed as pups. Because wolf dogs tend to be very timid animals, to give them their best shot at being social animals, breeders will often pull them from their mom between 10 days and 14 days old before their eyes are open so they can imprint on humans and learn how we're not going to hurt them. This may seem cruel to some, but the moms do pretty well with it and the puppies get the best start in life to be social and not terrified of new things. Breeders will, during this time, introduce them to as many new sights, sounds, smells, etc. as they can safely do before the pups leave for their new homes. Which is another difference. The best time to pick up your wolf dog puppy is between four and six weeks of age. Because this is their crucial bonding window, and if you wait longer than six weeks, it will sometimes be more difficult to bond with your puppy, and the transition will be more difficult for them as well. Number three, wolf dogs don't normally get along with other dogs of the same sex. Wolf dogs tend not to do well with other dogs or wolf dogs of the same sex, even after they've been spayed or neutered. They are territorial animals, and while they're not aggressive towards humans in the slightest, they will protect their territory from what might be deemed as competition to them. There are some exceptions to this, of course, but the best course of action if you want more than one dog or wolf dog is to get opposite sexes and get them both spayed or neutered so you don't have to worry about oops litters. Number two, wolf dogs, like their wild wolf counterparts, are normally only fertile once a year in the winter. 
With dogs, you might notice that some breeders will have multiple litters with their females each year. For most wolf dogs, this would not be possible, as almost all female wolf dogs will only cycle once a year in the winter when they would be preparing for spring pups. And on the other hand, most male wolf dogs are also only fertile in the winter, and if you pay attention and don't have them neutered, you will be able to tell the difference in their fertility as their testicles will shrink when not fertile. Number one, while wolf dogs can be a lot of work, the bond you form with them is very worth the work you put into them. I know all of this makes wolf dogs sound like they are a lot of work, and they are. But the bond you form with them while working them through all this socialization and training is so unlike any other animal bond you will find. Earning each dog's trust is huge. But to earn a wolf dog's trust and see it in their eyes when they watch you for what you want them to do is the greatest feeling in the world. That bond makes all the blood, sweat, and tears you will probably go through raising your pup worth it all. They are a very unique animal that needs a lot of time and attention and a lot of research before you even decide to get one, but they are also very rewarding in the end. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other topics you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you, have an amazing day, and take care. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.